Ebe, with equal pleasure, I would like to request Sri Shatyananda Mishra, Executive Director, Amrita Vishwavidya Pitham, Delhi NCR, retired IS and former Chief Information Commissioner, Sankopai Dwilain Kohibije, Sarjone Kola, Sanskriti Premi, Purbatana Prashasani Kadikari, Kendra Sarkankara, Bibhina Bibhagri Karja Karichanti, Tasaito, Onek Onustando Margo Dorsako Hisabri Bortaman Karjirato, Amaro Bhagyaja Misan Kamasaito Paichu, Andro Drobo, Sir, please come. Namaskar. Honorable Minister Ayus and Shipping, Dr. Bisoi, the Chief Editor of Argus and Friends. I am really grateful to Argus News to have invited me to this program because I did not think earlier that I had the necessary experience or qualification to address on this subject. But out of sheer kindness, Prakash Babu uh, remembered me and invited me here. I am grateful to him. Ordinarily, television channels would spend 99% of their time on politics, discussing politics and rumors. But it's uh, something very refreshing that a television channel uh, has decided to hold year after year a conclave on health and has chosen this year for its theme not the ordinary uh, health care but uh, an accessible, affordable and integrated health care as the subject and they have done another uh, extremely interesting uh, thing they have invited the most relevant person in India to this program as its chief guest, namely the uh, Honorable Minister for Ayush. They could have probably requested the Health Minister to come, but they decided to invite the Ayush Minister. When we talk about integrated, affordable and accessible health care, as Dr. Bisoy said a few minutes back, the first person to treat any uh, illness in our body is the individual himself. Unfortunately, over the centuries, because of multiple reasons, largely economic, we have given up this, we are progressively giving up this ability to treat ourselves to and outsourcing it to others. Odiare gote kothachi, bari ko dekhile nokha gajare. When you see a barber, your nails start growing. Uh, similarly, just because we have now doctors easily affordable or easily accessible or hospital buildings easily accessible for every illness if you have the money or if you are placed uh, socially or economically well in the society you do not wait for that disease to cure by itself and you go to the doctors there are multiple reasons media also plays no less role in creating this kind of uh, a um, tendency in the people uh, because of economic reasons, all these stakeholders in the society make you feel so helpless that for everything you need to go to the doctors. When I was young and, and was growing up in a small village in Keunjar district in Odisha, there was uh, a, pr a small primary health center in the Tasil headquarters, sub-regional headquarters. But the only thing for which people used to go there mostly was to drink a colored water which was sweet and uh, which was a digestive. So we on our way to the school would go there and the compounder there was kind enough to sometimes give a half a glass of, a small glass of that water to drink. Or else for all major elements in the village, including fractures in the hand or uh, leg, uh, there, was, there were local, you know, doctors, not, the, you don't call them doctors, old, elderly persons with experience, not even badhyas, not even people trained uh, traditionally in Ayurveda, they used to treat. And in most of the cases, the things would get, get uh, all right. However, unfortunately, because of our lifestyle changes, 
because of uh, economic well-being, because of the type of work we do to earn our livelihood, we have we lead a highly sedentary life. We do very little physical work. We eat a lot of processed food. The, we apply a lot of fertilizer and insecticide to grow our basic cereals and pulses. So, when you consume this kind of food, when you lead a lifestyle which is sedentary in nature, and uh, the society, because of uh, economic uh, you know, reasons, has become extremely competitive, the stress levels go up. So, combinedly, it has impacted our ability, our, our body's ability to take care of itself. So, therefore, the initiative of Argus to come in at this time and to speak about uh, integrated, affordable, accessible health care is, cannot be more timely. Odisha, as you know, has made rapid progress in these last four or five decades and today, in almost all health parameters, Odisha's position is much higher than what it used to be, say, about three, three decades back. Today, the life expectancy in Odisha has gone up. It is almost equal to uh, the national average. The birth rate, the population growth rate is uh, lower than the national uh, average. Primary health centers and other health facilities have grown. Along with Ayushman Bharat, the Odisha government has also launched its own health care scheme to provide free, almost free health care to people. In spite of all this, when I go to my village, the number of people who suffer from diabetes, blood sugar, cancer, these incidences are also growing up, increasing in the... So, therefore, there is something wrong somewhere and that wrong cannot be corrected by merely... Uh, having more hospitals, having more doctors, having more medicines, providing more medicines free of cost. It will be possible only when the lives, there is a lifestyle change. And that lifestyle change is what the Indian systems of medicine have been uh, arguing all over, uh, all through the centuries. And uh, under, in the new government of India, under the leadership of our Prime Minister, this particular ministry called Ayush has got uh, tremendous support and you keep hearing about their new schemes, their, the yoga has become a, an international phenomenon because of the, uh, because the Prime Minister is leading from the front. So, the, these traditional medi medical healthcare systems, healing systems, coupled with yoga and meditation, these are the you know, instruments through which increasing uh, illness, morbidities of the human uh, body can be addressed, not by medicines. More medicines, more diseases, more diseases, more, more medicines. So this cycle, this absolutely vicious cycle will never stop. It will continue. And what we are doing, we have really now uh, made uh, the modern healthcare so specialized that there is almost there is a specialist for every limb of the body. And have you ever reflected why is it that? Because doctors want to specialize and do their master's degree, uh, MD or MS in some specialized subject. So general medicine, general surgery, these have been split so much that today each time a new medical college comes up, especially in the private sector, you would find they would be introducing many new disciplines within these broad umbrellas. So as a patient, uh, you, would, you uh, also feel that unless you have been uh, seen by a doctor who specializes in that particular limb, you have not been treated well. So if I go to Dr. Bisoy for uh, some problem, I mean, which is not cardiac, even if he gives proper advice, I am not satisfied. I think that I should go to that particular doctor. So this kind of, uh, you know, subtle uh, manipulation of, the, of our minds by the people who are behind this, and they are not always uh, doctors. They are, they are doctors, of course, supported by economic forces who have created this kind of a mindset. This mindset can, be, can change through this integrated 
uh, systems and and finally before i end i i must say that no amount of uh, you know government policy or uh, declarations or efforts like uh, media houses like argus should succeed unless at the most basic level the academic programs are integrated there must be some way to integrate uh, the indian systems of medicine and the modern systems of medicine called what we know as allopathic medicine and produce physicians who are knowledgeable in both the systems today they are on one system is untouchable for the other so this untouchability especially the untouchability of indian systems of medicine this contempt to which the modern medicine looks at when it looks at the ayurved uh, or uh, indian systems of medicine must go and i i request the minister that if uh, in the coming years it should be possible to produce doctors who uh, I'm, I, or curriculum syllabus in such a manner that both streams of medicine are integrated then tho those doctors who come out of this will have a different kind of uh, uh, you know recognition in the society respectability in the society and as, as patients who will not feel compelled to only to go to allopathic specialist but we will go to these integrated doctors so uh, at the end i would uh, say that please uh, philosophers have said that illness illness of the body is not only a physical condition it is largely a social con condition so that is the reason why rich people would like to, would prefer to die of heart attack rather than of diarrhea or cholera so we we hierarch we make hierarchies of diseases and we feel that if we are very rich and powerful we should not be dying or uh, suffering from diseases which from which poor people suffer so this is the kind of uh, you know caste uh, difference we have created even in, in diseases so ultimately disease is disease or diseased condition is a social uh, phenomenon as much as it is a is physical phenomenon so we have to when we approach the healthcare subject we have to approach it not entirely as mr biswa very rightly said only as a physical bodily condition you have to do a cultural social change in that the media channels the civil society organizations have to play an important role i congratulate argus and its uh, Uh, its authorities to have really thought of this important subject and uh, i wish their effort in this uh, regard all success thank you so much jodi apan ko amo video ti bhalo lagila tebe amo channel ko like share aur subscribe kariba ko jama bhi bhulantu nahi